Hey there, everybody. Loved, loved, loved this episode. Hope you did too. I do want to give a quick shout out before I start talking about how Ludwig transitioned from the theme that we heard for Boba Fett in The Mandalorian into this brand new theme that we got for this particular show, which is fabulous. And I'm not really going to break that down this time. I just want to show how the transition went from the Mandalorian theme, which we actually heard a bit of Boba Fett's Mandalorian theme in the part of the episode where they were coming into Mas Espa to go to the club. You heard a little bit of that theme then. But Ludwig spent a good portion of this episode actually transitioning from that theme to this grand theme that we get at the end of the episode. We get a little snippet of it at the beginning. At any rate, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. I do want to give a quick shout out to that version of the Cantina uh, theme, John Williams's ca uh, Cantina band theme that was in A New Hope. It was a fabulous version, and it was actually done by the director, Robert Rodriguez, who is a decent guitar player, but another absolutely wonderful guitar player who I imagine did all of the fancy stuff, and that is Mark Del Castillo, who was on the Austin scene in the 90s and uh, was a very fabulous guitar player. Still a fabulous guitar player, obviously, because that version is great. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's talk about how this particular theme evolved from what we know that one right there it transitioned in a way because of the use of harmony and rhythm into this new theme and he did a great way of slowly building it out till you get to the very end and you get the big theme reveal but there's a particular note in this theme that the old Boba Fett we associated with in The Mandalorian. This one, uh, that's what we call the flat five. And what basically this theme did was outline a diminished chord. And right off the bat, we hear Ludwig use the same kind of notes in the part where we see... Boba Fett emerge from the Sarlacc pit, or he digs his way out from the belly of the Sarlacc, which is under the sand. Love that scene. That was great. But he uses this part right here. It's that second phrase that emphasizes the notes that we're used to associating with Boba Fett, that flat five. You don't need to know these numbers, but that's the note in that second part of that phrase. So it, what this is doing, using just one note, he's able to pay homage to his original theme and transition it into a new one by using the flow and rhythm of the new theme but he's also doing the same harmonies in it now when the big theme is introduced again we have that rhythm from the opening where we saw him escape the sarlacc pit but that note is no longer present instead there is a transition and the rhythm carries the transition over to the new melody Also, there is a rhythmic tribute, in a way, to what Ludwig is doing from the old theme to the new theme. If you recall, there is a whole bunch of stuff that rhythmically is the same, but also carries in the main melody that same kind of bounce to it that the old Boba Fett theme has. Those are the ways that Ludwig was able to take this new theme and make it perfectly cohesive with the old theme he had used for The Mandalorian, which I thought was a brilliant way to do it. Back 
to Bubba and Catfish right now.